everybody, welcome back to my channel or to my channel if you are new. Today's video should be fun and hopefully a little helpful. As you have seen by the title, we are talking about my eyebrows today. It's kind of weird to say, but I have been on kind of like an eyebrow journey this year. I went from having very, very thin eyebrows, almost to the point where I didn't even have like the tail end of my eyebrows left, to these which are a lot thicker and fuller. I am going to be talking about the process of growing out my eyebrows to my liking now from when I felt like I had overplucked them, the products that I am using now to style them, <laughs> and some of the face shavers that I also use on my eyebrows that I have gotten questions about in the past. Also, before I start, I wanna say that this video is 100% my personal opinion on what I'm liking for my eyebrows right now because we all know that it changes from time to time, like our preferences on how we do our makeup and stuff like that. But this is what I like right now and maybe you guys have similar opinions. Maybe you guys just want to try some new products or you're interested in just changing up your brows. Whatever it is, I hope you like this video and I hope it helps. So first things first, I wanna talk about the process of how I grew out my eyebrows because it definitely was a journey. <laughs> I don't know when I started to kind of over pluck them and start to get like face shaver happy and just like keep shaving them down and plucking them down, but it happened. And I had started 2020 with pretty thin eyebrows. They were still manageable. I remember still being okay with them, but then it got to like part of May and my eyebrows, at least one eyebrow was like almost non-existent at the end. It's crazy looking back, but they got so thin and I remember doing them and feeling just never good about my eyebrows. Like after I would do my makeup, I just didn't think they looked cute. I wanted them to look different and I couldn't make them look like that with the little bit of eyebrow that I had. At the time, I was using some e.l.f. products. I was at first using this like gel eyebrow stuff and I think there was a eyelash thing with it too, maybe not. I don't remember if it was double-sided, but I feel like it might have been. I liked that, but it never dried fast enough. So I would be wanting to fill in my brows after I used the gel and I just couldn't because it'd be all messy and it'd be wet and get everywhere. Then I found that they had a wax pen or I guess like pencil thingy. It's just like a wax thing and it can just push your eyebrows down. It was something I really liked using for a while because it was the closest product that would keep my eyebrows in place that was cheap. <laughs> I used this for a while and I really did like it but still throughout the day, my eyebrows would move around and I just didn't want that. Like I wanted to do my eyebrows in the morning and them to stay like that because that's why I was doing them. You know, I wanted them to be how I did them in the morning. Sometime during late May, I decided, okay, I'm gonna grow my eyebrows out. They are just so hella thin and I just, I don't want that anymore. So start the journey of growing them out. And I think the worst and hardest part was to not pluck them at all. It was hard. It was difficult because they kind of got a little wild and I wanted to pluck them. I did, but I knew that I was doing this for a reason and I knew that I wanted to see what they were gonna be like at the end. And so I stopped myself every time I wanted to pick up those tweezers. I also tried to style them when I was growing them out, but it was pretty difficult because I did get, you know, little hairs down below. I was using a lot of the wax pencil to help me, but it definitely was hard during the time that I was growing them out to style them again to my liking. It was just difficult, but I did the best I could, I still had fun with it, and I knew that the result of me growing them out, I would probably be happy with. So I kept going. <laughs> About probably August, I ended up getting new products, and this is honestly what changed my eyebrows 
so much. At that point, my eyebrows had grown out to what I thought would be the most that they would grow out. There were some areas that just weren't really growing any more hair and I felt like I just needed to style them and see what I could do from there. So I found this stuff. This is for your hair like on your head. Got to be glued, styling spiking glue. But let me tell you, it works so well on eyebrows. If you want your eyebrows to stay in place, use this. There was someone on TikTok that I saw. Maybe I'll pop her account up on here on the screen. I forget what her name is, but I saw her use this and I think she was the one that made me be like, okay, I'm gonna get this. Plus, I barely use any of this on my eyebrows, like a few little drops. Imagine how long this is gonna last me. So with the styling glue stuff, I got little spoolies and I think these are for your eyelashes, but I use them on my eyebrows. They work the same. I just dropped it. <laughs> the other thing that I got was this Milani Weekend Brow Brow Tint. Uh, I, I don't know if it has like brush, pen, what it's called, but it's kind of like a flimsy pen. <laughs> if that makes sense. Like the end of it moves, but it has a solid shape to it. It's very pointed on the end, so it's really easy to do like hair-like strokes. It is difficult to learn how hard to push on it though. I still have trouble sometimes accidentally pushing too hard, or if you like rub it a certain way, it won't look like a hair stroke because it will get like really thick or something. So you just kind of have to get used to it, play with it a little bit and see what you can do. But Honestly, this thing is probably one of my favorite products for my brows that I have used, at least paired with this. I still use these little face shavers. I use them on my eyebrows, um, on my little mustache area, and sometimes on other areas of my face, but usually it's just those two. Instead of going and just like going to town, <laughs> I usually try to style my brows first and then shave the areas around because then I can kind of see what areas I want gone after I've styled them to my liking. Pretty sure you can get these at like any makeup store, beauty store, um, probably Walmart, Target, things like that. Like I said, it was August when I got these new products. I tried them out and at the time I only plucked my eyebrows a little bit. I didn't want to take away what I had spent months growing. You can kind of see that they look more styled, but there's still kind of some sparse hairs around there. And eventually I ended up plucking those a little more and I am left with today, my eyebrows, and I really like them. I feel a lot more confident with them and I enjoy doing them. Like after I do them, I'm just like, ooh, I like these, they're cute. <laughs> so here's a push if you need to try new things with your eyebrows, whether it's a long process, like growing them out, or if it's a shorter one, like just making them thinner or shaving them off, whatever it is, try new things. You never know if you're gonna like it until you try it. I do wanna show like a before and after of when my eyebrows were super, super thin in May and then what my eyebrows are now and just show you guys how much of a difference it is. Like definitely a transformation. <laughs> Alrighty, so I have you guys zoomed in here. Usually I just go through, kind of brush it out. Doesn't really do much, but first thing I'm gonna do is put this in my brows. Put it on here. That's actually kind of a lot. <laughs> so I usually go to this one first because it cooperates better. And I add it to this area and just kind of take it up, upwards. After I kind of get the shape I want with them, then I will take the excess stuff and kind of go on the center or the edge. I guess this is the center, but in the center here. And I just kind of brush these up. I like these to look a little more like sparse. Sometimes they stick down too much though. I don't like when they're like stuck to my skin from the glue. I just kind of like when they are pointing out a little bit. I don't know. You guys get what I'm saying? There's that. And then I just let it dry. It's as simple as that. And that one always looks better. <laughs> 
I hate doing this one, but here we go. The reason I hate it is because this area right here, I want it to like go like, you know, this one just easily kind of went over, but this one doesn't do that. It likes to go upwards instead of like out, but I force it as much as I can to do what I want. Luckily this stuff, dries at a decent rate. It doesn't dry faster than you can work with it, but it does dry down at a good, a good pace, I guess. So again, I'm just doing the same thing. I try to compare the two as well, so they're not like super different, but I know one of my eyebrows just arches a little more, so you know, eyebrows are sisters, not twins. I try to mostly go with the shape of my natural eyebrow, so whatever your shape is, you can just kind of go along with it. See, but I like the center of this one better. <laughs> After I use this, I like to just rinse it off with water so the glue doesn't really dry on here. And I gotta wait to let them dry. This one's already kind of dry. Okay, this side feels pretty dry, so we're gonna start over here. Going to take the Milani Weekend Brow Tint. This is actually a tint, which I didn't know. It doesn't really stay on that much like it washes off really easily but it has a really sharp little point here i usually like to start on the edge kind of define my arch a little more and i with the pen i just kind of do little flicks sometimes i go up and down but i really try to go with the hairs as much as i can sorry i'm looking at a mirror down here this is a little hard to show you guys and do them with the setup i have See, look, that is already more defined right there. Now I think the ends look all right. I think I like it like that. So now I'm gonna go in the center here, start from this side and I just stroke like little hairs. So there's that. She just looks more defined down there. Now onto this one feels dry. Again, this one's a little more difficult, but I just kind of fill in where I need. So there they are. And after I get them all done, now I can see like this is kind of how I like them. So I can pluck around the areas that are kind of growing. So this face shaver here, I will use above the brow. I'll just push it down like this on the tail. So on both those and then in the middle like this. I used to kind of go under with it, but usually I just use tweezers for the under part. So ta-da, that's everything done. That's what I do. And that's how I use everything. Let's do a little before and after here, showing like my eyebrows before I put all the products in and then after it really makes a difference, I think. And I'm literally just kind of styling them almost <laughs> with the glue and then filling in where I need to. I love that they still look pretty natural, but they are still like filled in. So that is all of my video today. I hope it helped you guys, or maybe you're just entertained watching it. Whatever it was, I hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe now you wanna change up your eyebrows, grow them out, make them thinner, shave them off, whatever makes you happy. Go for it, try it out. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy this video and give it a thumbs up. Follow my social media accounts. They will be at the beginning of this video or in the description box below. I hope you guys have an amazing day or night, whatever it is where you are right now. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.